So then the next thing that we're going to look at is how to find the mean, median, and mode of a set of data. So what we're going to do is once we have our calculator set up, remember it should be on stat and the frequency should be on, we need to tell the calculator exactly what we want it to do. Before we can tell it what we want it to do, we need to give it data. Now, if you look on the calculator, you should see a stat just above the 1. Does everybody see that? Okay. So you should hit Shift 1 to go into your stat. Now we're going to start by telling it it's data 2. All you want to do when you have a single set of data like that is just put in the numbers. So 7 equals, and it goes down to the next step. So we're going to put in the rest of the data. 2 equals 3 equals 7, 8, 4, 5, 2, 7, 6, 8, and 3. And you should see 12 numbers displayed. If you go past this 12th number, then you know that you've entered it in wrong and try to do it again. Now we cannot figure out the mean or any other calculation while in this screen without it putting in additional data. We definitely don't want additional data. So we need to go back to our main screen. And in order to do that, we hit AC. So now we're back into our main screen. The calculator has our data, and we want it to find what we're looking for, the mean. Now the calculator has symbols for many of these calculations rather than writing out the full word. It just doesn't fit in the calculator. So once again we're going to hit shift 1, but instead of putting in data we're going to look at variations 4. This symbol right here, x bar, is the same thing as mean. So we're going to hit 2, and it's saying, is this what you want? You want the mean. Yes, and we tell it that by hitting equals, and we get that the mean is 5.1 and 6 repeated. If we were to round this to do de two decimal points, it would be 5.17. Now in order to figure out the median and the mode, we don't use the calculator. All we do is list out the numbers from least to greatest. So we'll start with the smallest numbers, which are two. There is one, two, twos. So two, comma, two. We'll mark these out. The next are threes. There's one, two, threes. Two threes, good. We mark them out. Next is four. There's only one four. So we include that in. There's only one five. We include that in. And there's only one six. So we include that in. Now there's one, two, three sevens. So we write down seven three times. One, two, three. And lastly, there's two eights. So now we've figured out how to number from least to greatest, and we're going to figure out the median, or the middle number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers, as the calculator pointed out earlier. That means this breaks evenly into a group of 6 here, and a group of 6 here. There's not a middle number. So if we don't have a middle number, we need to figure out the average of the two middle numbers. So to do median, we're going to say 5 plus 6 divided by 2. And for that you can use the calculator if you need to. Clear it out. 5 plus 6 equals 11. We divide that by 2 and we get that the median is 5.5. And if you notice, the median is pretty close to the mean, and that's what we expect, and that's honestly what we want with our data. The last thing we're looking for is the mode. 
or the number that is repeated the most frequently. So we look here, which number is repeated more than any other number? The sevens. They are repeated three times, so the mode is seven. And that's how you find the mean, the median, and the mode using your calculator.